We are here at the AG Church Hindi Medium School and uh, this place is a story of God's transforming grace. It started out with 50 children. Uh, by God's grace has now grown to have about 500 children. There is a story of this little boy that I will never forget as long as I live. We had the children sitting at tables and on chairs and uh, even as we served this little boy his uh, plate of food, he looked at it and he said, is this all for me? And then I realized that, you know, he's probably used to sharing this uh, with his siblings at home. And he said, yes, this is all for you. He sat there looking at his food and then suddenly he says, uh, can I have a spoon? And I thought that was a strange request, you know, but then the Lord just helped me to realize that it was here was this little boy who was sitting at the table. He has this plate of food, which is all for himself. And then he says, here I am all clean and I'm going to eat this food. And suddenly he realized he cannot use his fingers, that he wanted a spoon. And at that moment, the Lord helped us to help me to realize that we had been, we had given this child dignity. And really that's what it's all about, you know, when we have the children come in here to our school, to be able to give them dignity, to help them to realize that they have been created in the image of God, that they are precious to God. And that even as they continue to grow in our school, that with the education, uh, we are able to empower them and then send them off for a brighter future. They want to become, you know, engineers, doctors, teachers, uh, politicians, pilots. You know, these are things that they would have never thought of doing or being able to do. But now by coming here in the school, uh, you know, they have an opportunity to dream. And that's what we are so thankful that we are able to open their horizons and to help them realize their full potential in God. When we come in here, the children are so full of joy. They enjoy coming to school. Uh, it's not a drudgery for them. And so and whatever challenges they may be facing in their, uh, in their homes, they kind of leave that outside. And when they come here, they've come into a safe and secure environment. They know that they're loved and cared for. And so they feel, you know, that they're very happy when they come here. We are able to not only give them a hope and a future, we are able to also tell them that they are not alone in all of their challenges. God is with them and He will see them. And it's, I mean, the children are so talented. They are so creative in what they, the way they think, the way they draw and uh, just their, uh, you know, they love to sing and uh, just some of the talents that these kids have. It's amazing to see that. And so to be able to give them that opportunity to unleash that as well. So we thank God that uh, God has given us a small part in helping to change their, uh, their destiny, to change their future and uh, to you know, give them a hope and a brighter future because of what Jesus can do in their lives. I think what is really beautiful about what we are doing here is that uh, we are not just taking care of the needs. You know, yes, we are. We are providing them quality food, a midday meal that the children receive. We are showing them love and care. But all this is not possible without the love of Jesus. And because Jesus is the center of all that we do, we believe that all the investment we are making in the lives of children has a very long lasting and life enriching impact. It's not something where only the needs are being met, but we are able to give them hope, which comes from knowing Jesus and a brighter future because we have introduced them to Jesus as well. You've heard a lot about what is happening in this place. And uh, we want to encourage you to continue to pray for us that God will strengthen our hands, that He will bring uh, good uh, people who will come and work alongside and uh, will carry the same vision and purpose and uh, help make a difference in our children. 
it's a place where you know the presence of God is so evident and especially the children even as they sing and worship the Lord you know it's at times I have walked in through the entrance and just cannot move because the presence of God is so heavy in this place and that's what it's all about as well to be able to give them dignity to give them hope for the future and then also introduce them and introduce them to Jesus uh, so we really thank God and uh, we believe that greater things are in store for this school in the future.